Hey guys, Dan Greer, Eclipse DOT, coming at you from Kilgore, Texas. We are standing in the richest acre in the world right here. Um, the reason they call it the richest acre in the world is because of the amount of wells that were drilled back in the 1930s and 40s when they discovered oil here. Um, it was the most dense oil field in the world. It was before any kind of zoning laws were in, in effect for for uh, oil field and in well spacing that kind of stuff and what you see behind us is just a couple derricks each one of those is a standing derrick and they would leave those over the well so they could come back in and work over work over the well at some point so they'd drill the well with these and then they'd they'd leave them there and they then they could pull the pipe back out and send new bits down and work the well over if they ever stopped producing so they could continue to produce we're going to turn a little bit here and so you can see kind of a miniature derrick behind us which is pretty cool as well and there's a whole bunch of them here and so this this is a really neat spot to go check out and really i was thinking about it while i was standing here and in um one of the things that came to my mind was just that we have to control ourselves and, and control ourselves in business and do what's right and control ourselves in life and do what's right and so they found some oil here and they just went crazy over it and drilled man, it's, it's like over 40 wells in one acre so these derricks were literally touching if we turn around you can see how close they are right their their like legs are a foot apart or something which is probably fairly accurate and they just drilled and drilled and drilled and in business we do the same thing a lot of times we'll find something that works and we hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer and hammer it until we exhaust it and then all of a sudden what could have been a lifetime supply is now a few hours a few minutes a few days a few weeks whatever uh, supply for our business whereas if we would have drilled two wells maybe on that same acre instead of 40 over 40 you know if we would have hammered that business idea quite so hard if we would have spread it out you know and done it for a little while then moved on and left it continuing to work and started working on the next project and so that's what i want to talk to you about today that's what i really want to bring up is that is is never stop progressing never stop moving on to the next project never stop moving on to what's next in life because if you stop in your business if you stop progressing and you just hammer out one thing forever right you just hammer out one thing forever then all of a sudden it's dried up and gone you have nothing and yeah you've capitalized really big for a little bit you've, you've done really good on that one but you don't have a whole bunch going on and then then you've got to stop and start from scratch and so i just want to encourage you to look at your business look at look at what's going on with leadership in the world look at look at your personal leadership and make sure you're not handing on one thing that you're not drilling a bunch of wells in one spot but that you're being smart about what you do and you're drilling one well here and one well there, you're planning an idea here and an idea there, or you're starting this project while you're working on the next project. Don't put everything in, in one area. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you have a great day.